your Precision 18 forecast. News 18, weather from where you live. Well, what I do right here on air is just a tiny fraction of my job here at WLFI. I just finished a blog entry where I'm going into the weather pattern from now right to early May. So you want to check out that blog all the time because I'm updating it constantly and I go into much more detail than the time constraints, if you will, of uh, doing weather on TV. So check that out, WLFI.com. Warm weather for the weekend, though. It's going to feel good, but we've got two periods of severe risk. The first one is this weekend. It's uh, Sunday uh, evening and Sunday night. Then the other is late next week. And then we get into multiple nights with some frost and freezing, as a matter of fact. Uh, perhaps some point next weekend, but especially early next week, like a week from the upcoming week ahead, if that makes sense. So tonight, a lot of low clouds around. Uh, there will be some patchy fog that's going to develop here and there. Some of it locally dense, and then we'll break the clouds up gradually tomorrow of a partly cloudy afternoon. And then we watch the next storm system that is headed our way. It's producing severe weather down in Texas. This is the system that will get its act together and bring the storms in here uh, come Sunday. So patchy fog, 40s to near 50 in the morning will give way to mid 50s by 9 o'clock in the morning. A high of 71 winds out of a southeast to south direction. We'll have a wave of at least a few scattered showers and thunder showers Sunday morning. Then it's dry with clouds mixed with sun and then new thunderstorms develop late in the day, especially towards the evening with a high of 74 and a strong wind from the south all day, 20 to 40 miles an hour. So here we are tomorrow morning, patchy fog and a lot of low gray clouds around. Then they gradually break up somewhat. Now tomorrow's not going to be this beautiful, clear, sunny day. The sun will be poking out from time to time, and the better potential of sunshine will be as the day goes on. Now, that said, Sunday morning, this little wave of some scattered showers and a few thunder showers comes through, then a break, and then getting into the evening, I do think there will be scattered storms that form over the area with some severe uh, weather risk, too. You can see the dynamics, the strong winds aloft over the area, kind of causing several little broken lines of storms to form in our area. So as a result, the Storm Prediction Center has a marginal risk of severe weather Lafayette southward right now for isolated severe weather. But I think I think there's going to be an upgrade. I think this marginal risk will be shifted northward. We may get into even some of this slight risk, this yellow down in southern Indiana. I think that could be shifted northward as well, looking at some of the dyna uh, dynamic shear and the heating that are projected for Sunday evening. So, that said, normal high is 59. We'll be at 74 on Sunday after 71 tomorrow. You know, pretty nice Monday. Partly cloudy, 71. Sunshine, 69 Tuesday. Thursday will be a, another time to kind of keep an eye on. 67. Showers, storms, some severe risk. And then it gets cooler. In fact, we may start Friday in the 50s, but then fall in the 40s. During the afternoon. All right. Thank you, Chad. Sure. If you can't get enough of Chad, you can always see yes. his blog online. It's so many more details on there. Trump's